Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to decorate this front area of my basement for spring. So I brought down some items from upstairs uh, at the end of last year and then a few items I brought down after Christmas and I just never really did anything with this area. So today I'm going to try and pull some of these items together and then under the bench, I usually store a lot of my ornament uh, decorative balls. And so I'm going to come up with a way to nicely display those. And then you guys might remember this picture used to be over the fireplace in my kitchen. Okay, so this wall here, I'm going to rework this wall. I think I will be taking the mirror so down. What I think I'm going to do is replace the mirror with this tobacco basket. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby last summer and it had a missing slat and I just replaced it with a piece of um, cardboard and some tape. And so what I'm going to do is paint the entire piece in an ivory color because I know that I can't duplicate the wood tone so the next best thing is to paint it out all one color. So I have a little bit of spray paint left and I'm going to take it outside and give it a quick coat. Now I won't be taking you guys outside because it's a pretty windy day and I need to get this done quickly. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but this cabinet was upstairs in my um, study between the two leather chairs and so I brought it down here after Christmas because I did not want the blue in the study any longer and so here it is and I'm going to see if I can pull it all together. Okay guys, so as much as I like this picture, I am going to have to replace it with something a little brighter. And then I have this mirror and console table area that I will need to decorate as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm not sure what I will end up doing with it, but I sure would like to paint it, but not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. Okay guys, this is my basement spring refresh on a budget. I was going for a light and bright spring feel, so I brought in some neutral colors to give me that calm and serene feel. Just like the upstairs, I like to bring in a little mercury glass. I was going for a French country modern farmhouse feel. So here as you enter my downstairs, I have a mirror that I purchased from Kirkland several years ago and a pair of sconces that I got from the Goodwill. So not only do I shop at Goodwill for budget-friendly ideas, but I also repurpose existing decor. This white shelving unit that you're looking at was black originally, if you remember it from the before picture. So this French inspired picture came from Hobby Lobby. It was originally red and black. You may be able to see a little bit of the red peeking through. And I gave it a makeover using neutral colors in gray, tan, taupe, and black. So this mirrored frame I got from Home Goods. It was missing the little kickstand on the back, so I brought it home and I placed a piece of scrapbook paper behind the glass and then I got a cross from the Goodwill and I just adhered it to the front of the glass. Then I put a string on the back to hang it on the wall. So this is how the tobacco basket turned out. I was going to spray paint it ivory, but I decided to give it a hand finish to give it a more rustic appeal. 
as you guys can see I did switch out the picture I thought this one was a little lighter for the look that I was going for and maybe I will bring the other one back in the fall and guys don't forget to look for flowers in the Goodwill as well sometimes you can get lucky and the vase that the flowers are sitting in was a Goodwill find as well but it didn't look like that when I purchased it it was orange and I brought it home and washed off the orange film sometimes on glass they will paint a film on the glass and so after soaking it this is what was underneath the orange film and I do have a video on that way back in the beginning of my YouTube journey and then don't forget to look for your battery operated candles from the Dollar Tree a lot of you guys ask me where do I get my mercury glass from and I get a lot of it from the Goodwill and this little pedestal bowl was one of my Goodwill finds that I purchased right after Christmas. So here I have a pair of wingback chairs that I purchased from Goodwill about five or six years ago. And my plan was to give them a makeover, but here I am years later and they are still in need of a makeover. So now that my refresh is done, maybe I will be inspired to get to it. This ottoman was a Goodwill find. I just brought it home and covered it with a very lightweight vinyl. So I plan on this area being a little quiet space for me during quarantine so I can have some me time. So here in the bookcase, I have more Goodwill finds. There are more Goodwill items in here than not. But sometimes you will have to paint some of the items to, to get them to fit into your decor. There's another pair of green vases that I got from Goodwill. Those particular bottles were already in green. This lantern came from Hobby Lobby. The glass was missing, so I got it on clearance for $4. And sometimes, guys, you do have to mix regular price with sale. And so this candle is one of my favorite battery-operated candles from Balsam Hills. And guys, don't pass up metal wall art at the Goodwill. You can always paint it. This piece was oil rub bronze when I first got it. And of course, you know me, I brought it home and gave it a coat of white paint or cream paint. Okay, so if you notice this bench in the before clip, it was black, but I gave it a coat of ivory paint, the same as I gave the little shelving unit on the other side. And that just helped to brighten the space. In this basement, we have what's called a daylight basement, but the windows are on the other side of the basement. So in this particular area, I have no windows. So I try and do what I can to make it brighter. And so bringing in some of these lighter tones is what gives me that light and airy feel. In addition to bringing in some daylight bulbs. And so here on top of the bench, this is another dough bowl that I purchased from Goodwill, but when I purchased it, it was brown. And so this urn and finial was also a Goodwill find, but when I purchased them, they were not in this color. Of course, you know me, I had to bring it home and neutralize it. So sometimes you will see these items and they will be in the oddest colors. But just know that when you bring it home and kind of give it more of a stone or natural feel, it brings more value to the piece. Okay, and so yes, I did paint the chest. 
it was a fight to get to the finish line and I'm not sure if I'm 100% in love with it, but for now it will do. And the mirror was also painted in the same finish. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Please continue watching as I share some close-ups around the room. And so while you guys are at home with a little more time on your hands, why don't you take a closer look at some of your decor with a different eye? Hi, and don't judge my hair guys. I would love to see what you guys look like in quarantine while cutting your own hair. 